All right, so it is December 21st, 360 SF. On 21st December 360 SF, a small gathering of party dependent members find themselves in Pendant Estate. The estate located on the cliffs above the fishing village of Iron Thrust on the northeastern coast of the island of Shimar is headquarters of the world famous International Mercenary Order, the Party of the Pendant. The six, Rancha Rock, Lizard Man, Ranger Shaman, Dina the Fairy, Sylph Air Elementalist, Ranger, Silcian Aglos, Elven Druid, Battle Mage, Tankard Blazon Vert, Human, Human Norman Warrior, Cana McNeil, Human Celtic Witch and Healer, Eirik Egmundson, Egmunderson, Human Norse Warrior. They had not come to the estate on this particular winter solstice for any particular reason. They had all caught wind that a large gathering was planned for the winter in preparation for, for the beginning of another campaign. And so they had come. Others, however, had not yet come. So they decided to wait. The day of the 21st was spent by the six starkly different party members in, ver in various different ways. Yet all demonstrated a deep spiritual and earthly reverence. The homeland of Rancher Rock is the great ice realm that is said to exist to the south of Shimar. Dina the Sylph is an ice fairy who wields the crystal shard. Eirik, uh, son of Agmundar, is lord over the great glacier and the ice realm of Alborneo. Only the elven lord Silcian and the Celtic witch from Etrek Cana are not clearly connected to the coming of winter, but they too have gods and goddesses to placate with sacrifices and offerings on this holy of holy days. For Tancred, Count of Blazenver, his Christian god sees little significance in the solstice other than a change of seasons. The evening is sure to offer a continuation of the solstice ceremony and celebration. The banquet is prepared by fellow party member Kilur of the Northern Realms. Kilur is a dwarven holy warrior, but he, but he also has recently volunteered his service as governor of Pendant Estate. The previous governor turned out to be a spy for the shadow who was executed, but that's another story. <laughs> no one really understands why the pleasant spirited but unpleasant looking dwarf turned his back on his lands and title bestowed upon him by the Queen of Shimar, choosing instead to take on the administration duties at the party of the pendant. But he did, and, he, and here he is, organizing what's turning out to be an impressive feast. When it, when it is interrupted by the arrival of an unexpected guest, in the middle of the meal, Hilur suddenly announces that Abian Folas, the red annihilate to the gods of war and magic, honors Iron Thrust and Pendant Estate with his presence. His eminence arrives aboard a red boat, the iconic ships owned and operated by the faith for the transportation of their law priests. The red annihilate is escorted by 12 members of the Order of Exorcists. And now the Shimarian High Priest is being led into the banquet hall to address the party of the pendant. The Aniliate is an older man of sharp and sarcastic features. He wears the clerical robes of Shimar's national faith, the gods of war and magic, red and black and trimmed in yellow and gold. He carries a, a staff spear. Accompanying him are two of the mysterious exorcists. They stand perfectly still with their heads bowed, their deep red hoods obscuring their faces, and their hands emerging from the folds of their robes clutched in prayer. Blessings of winter dawn in the name of the, of the Lord of Battle and the Lady of Arcania. I ask that you receive my audience. Of course. I am the red annihilate to the gods of war and magic. Is the Kiro and exorcist Leandro Costales here? He is he, not. He is not in New Greyhawk, so I hope he might be here in Pendant Estate. He is not. I haven't seen him. <clears throat> That's unfortunate. 
I assume you realize that I would not come to you directly on the most holy day of the faith were it not for dire circumstances. For a few months, disturbing reports have been emerging from Shamarnia town. These reports have been collated by the church and we have monitored the situation. Sadly, it has only worsened to the point that we must now act. Initially, we received the reports as rumors, superstitions, and wives' tales. Peasants are prone to such irrational thoughts, and it can be difficult to discern truth from fear. These peasants were claiming that something was amiss when they buried their dead, that they feared that their dead were not actually dead. Again, such stories are the fodder for every settlement. Then the reports came that some of these graves were opened and the bodies were gone. Simple grave robbing, we assumed and hoped, nothing more. Then we heard about large roaming wolf packs, the likes of which have never been seen in those parts, and flocks of bats that block out the moon and stars, they say. And only weeks ago, word came of a whole family found murdered. With, with their blood drained. The people whisper the word vampire. Now, peasants are simple. They don't know what we know. We know that vampirism has been eliminated from the world. We know the party of the pendant slew the first of the vampires, thereby destroying all vampires turned by him. And since he was the first, but as Saint Asmodar Dracu tells us, Knowledge carries responsibility. This cannot be vampirism. It cannot be. There must be some other explanation. For if it is... I do not think this matter can wait. I am spending the winter solstice in this stinking East Coast fishing village because this matter cannot <clears throat> wait. I pondered sending a delegation of my law priests or possibly a coven of the circle or the exorcists. The faith is the correct response, but is faith enough? Regardless, the party dependent should be involved. This is your history. Please, I beseech you, travel to Shamarnia town. There is a village a few miles outside of the town walls called Skawa, I think. This is the site of these reports. To make matters worse, the graveyard in these reports is none other than Founder's Rest, the oldest burial site on the island of Shumar, well, other than the natives. In investigate, and the faith be willing, return to report that the stories are just that. But if you discover other, I assume you will accept this, this mission out of a sense of duty and commitment to the cause. For you have as much to lose as I, should these rumors solidify into fact. But I want you to take this task immediately. So as inducement, in return, the faith offers to each of you a skin of the vine, a sacred ruin, and three branch and grab vines for each of you. Come to the high temple in New Greyhawk when the mission is complete and ask for me. Will you undertake this mission immediately? Sure. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I don't see why not? Like something to do? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know much of the history on that. Do you have any questions? Who in Shamarnia Town can we contact for assistance or support? Why do you need assistance or, or support from Shamarnia Town? Well, that's where we'll be based. Are you not the party dependent? Yes. Fair. Do you want all to right. Give you the you want to give me the address of some blacksmith? Yes. No, that's all right. Who is your you. Who is your leader? That's me. I see. Who is the law in Shamarnia Town? Who is the law? The law. The faith is the, the law. We are the law. God's a war But that's besides the point. What are you asking? S speak directly. Is there a count, duke, lord? The that's... duke of Solonar dwells in Shamarnia. His castle sits at the at the center of the of the town. It's a strange town. It's the oldest settlement built on Shimar. Uh, and it is it is a circular town with complete with complete circular walls. Duke is a faithful man? No, he worships the the Greek faith. He is not one of our faiths, so no, he is not faithful. 
Are you? I'm faithful to many things. We will Just take care of this problem. Not necessarily the right things. Who are you, boy? Eirik Eggmunderson. Are you old enough to be in this group? I am plenty old enough to be in this group. How old are you? 17 years old. Are you taking him with you? We are. Probably. I thought there were more of you. Why is there only six? This is a holy day. We all have all our own places to be. The six of us happen to be here. This is what you get. So it seems. Well, if you can get more of you and some that are a bit more mature, that would perhaps be helpful. Do what you must. Do you, ha do you have any other questions? How long have the reports been coming in? Reports about something coming out of Shimarni Town go back mainly to the, this report of the family is only within the last weeks and the time that it took me to get here and I left immediately uh, upon hearing this last report. Reports from the town have been coming on for two months before that and then three months before that. So I would say we've been hearing word coming out of coming out of Skawa and Shimarnia Town for maybe four, four to five months. It could be whatever's there could be could have been going on for longer than that. Have they been able to see any signs of <laughs> patterns of certain times of day it happened, night? Moon the cycles. details. Uh, I have given you all the all the details of the reports that have that have come to us. Okay. Shimarnia Town. As fast as you can. Well, won't you join us for the rest of our banquet? We'll leave after we eat. I don't eat on on this day. This ah. is a this is a holy day. This is a fasting day. I see. But I will excuse your ignorance of my faith. I am not of your faith. He's already walking out the door. True. Not surprised. Okay. If I they had, had a they will leave. He is a bit of a douche. <laughs> if I had a sue. Comes to us for help. Sorry. Scolds us. Yeah. If I had a sue for every peasant who came saying there's a vampire, I don't know, I'd be a richer, You'd have two sues? I'd be a richer man than I am now. <laughs> Odds are it's... Is sue French copper piece? It is know. a French copper piece. Okay. If I... It's... Grave robbers and a disease. I've seen more graves opened by people trying to figure out why Granddad died. <laughs> I wouldn't worry about it. All right, well, well let's, let's just head it. to I Smarty am. Town. Man. Yeah. I mean, yeah. what can you know? Like, is this tied into party history? In some well, way? we won't know. Like, I mean, let's just go. Let's well, well, we'll start with the Shimarian town and go to the cemetery and see what's going on. See what kind of sense we can get. Well, we can figure out. Let's start there. The party definitely eliminated vampirism. Uh, I don't know, like 30, 30 years, years ago, ago yeah. something like that? Yeah. So that's... That he's right, he's the right. The first yeah. session my father took part in. Oh, really? Was chasing vampires. But is anything completely ever eliminated? That's my thought as well. I don't know about that. What? I would say maybe, maybe not. That's a question we should go look and I we'll don't find out. Yeah. I don't think we can say for certain. We always All have I to know have is that. They're talking about what I understand of Strahd. Is that, was he the yeah. first? Strahd. Strahd, Strahd however vampire. you say it, whatever his mm -hmm. name is. Yep. Doesn't matter, the first vampire. Now, from stories I have, I mean, maybe we think we did it. Maybe we think we killed him. But, I mean, it's Strahd from the stories. You don't know what kind of backup contingency plan, and vampires that live forever, like forever, have backup plans. So thanks, sure. Eric. No. <laughs> so <laughs> what, what did you, what did your father tell you about these missions? Or did he tell you yeah. about these missions? Um, well, he was still a junior party member when he went, and it was basically for the completion of that campaign. So what happened? They killed okay. Stroud. Okay. And how did they? Like with a stake, proper. Oh. Yeah. See, back home we have the, the peasants say garlic crosses. Wooden stake. Wooden stake. Yes. Yeah. That's like it. And silver. Silver works. Silver? Isn't it? Yeah. Well, you can use silver. werewolves. Oh, yeah. Probably. But to bind a werewolf. But like threat. the real. Uh, <clears throat> what starts vampirism? Because if what's caused the first vampire to get vampirism, maybe how somebody could it not has. be reintroduced in a new area. That's true. Like. But again, I'm skeptical. Yes. Fair. Okay, so we've got to get there first. We're going to have yeah. to go there. 100%. Do we want to look, uh, let's look into party reports first, quick, to see about vampirism, see what the party's done. 
I'm gonna look at the map. We're not even sure it is San Francisco. It could be something that's similar to it. Where, where is some other kind of? Could be a wizard gone bad. Where is it? Could be a Shamarnia Town. Yeah. Could be. Yeah, Shamarnia Town is just to the south of the Bay of Foundation. So Baranor, my castle is actually nearby, across the bay. Okay. So I could. You're a bit of a big shot here, then, eh? Oh, what can I say? Yeah. Um, I could teleport us there, and we could sail there probably pretty easily. Okay. Okay. Uh, do we want to go tonight? Yeah, what, what time? Oh, tomorrow. Let's do it. I've got a good right. meal here. i got I things know, to I do that just... night. But the Red Aniliot said we have to go immediately. Ah, no, that douchebag. You know, we can wait a day. <laughs> I, um, I, I'm kind of with you. I think I'm already... Three beer and let's just yeah exactly. Well, the fact that it has to drive right now. Of taking a boat is going to essentially bias the time to spend the rest of the night. You're not in that much of a hurry. But you, no. But you have to teleport, for example. If he's a teleporter, no. Yeah, they're not saying to you that uh, get there tonight mm. or get there. Oh, okay. They're oh, saying, just like do it now. Yeah, I mean he's sailing. He, no. He's assuming he he's assuming you're sailing. I mean if you need your teleports, you definitely don't have to use them just to go from right. Just to go along the coast. Fair point. Where is Leander? So tomorrow. we'll leave it to Leander. I don't know. He's, he's doing holy things. Where is he? Yeah. He's, yeah he's okay, so your plan is that you're going to spend the rest of the night here in Penn the State. You're going to finish uh, the banquet, and then and then you're going to be heading off tomorrow? Yeah. 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 We're looking to head off tomorrow? Yes. Yeah. Okay. While we're here, though, it wouldn't hurt for somebody to have a quick peek at That's what I was thinking. Yeah. 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 Time. And what, what do we know about Scowla? Sorry, Skawa, Skawa. Skawa. Founder's Rest. Like those Nothing. two. I don't know anything about it. Or don't Maybe a party report search for Founder's Rest. Yeah, I'll okay. do that. Okay, so I'll... you're going into the library in Penn and Estate, and you're going through past past party reports? Yeah, right? that's right. Okay. And possibly gallery bios of past parties. Past. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Kilur will indicate uh, that there is... Uh, there is a merchant vessel in port here in Pendant Estate that is sailing that is sailing west. So if you're if you're in a hurry, you can arrange passage uh, with that captain uh, so that you would be able to leave by tomorrow morning if you're in a hurry, or else yeah. you'll have to wait for let's the leave next. Let's leave in the morning. Yeah, yeah, you'll have yeah. to wait for the next merchant ship. It's up to no, you. Let's the leave next tomorrow. the next merchant ship. Will come through Pendant Estate in rolling the dice to see how many days the next ship will come after Pendant Estate or after this day. Three days, so it's not too bad. Okay. But there is a ship right now in the harbor. Do you wish to go on the ship that's in the in the harbor tomorrow morning, or do you want to wait three days? I say tomorrow. Go tomorrow morning. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. So the captain will be informed tonight. Uh, just to ensure that he has that he has room and accommodation for you on because it is just a merchant ship. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Is there anything that anybody needs to do? So you are preparing them tonight. So you gotta so go through your equipment. Make sure you have everything that you that you need. I can't find anything on founders. You perhaps. you are here in no. Pendant Estate. If there's any casting, any spells or prayers that you wish to do, do them now. Are vampires undead? Yeah. Yes. Does anyone know if you need to have a slayer on a weapon to hit no. a vampire? You're going to hit the Oh, a vampire? I'm not sure. I do have a bit of undead control and I can. Yeah. Okay. I have a scroll of control undead and a scroll of protection from undead. Okay. Yeah. I know. This dude can't be any tougher than Demon Gorgon. That's all I know. <laughs> probably not. Just just saying, you did, you know, did I'm just saying. Yeah, you're probably so, okay. April 15th, 326, seems to be the last time that the party encountered uh, a vampire on this world. I think it was 326? 326. And he was a vampire, I think I'm just kind of skimming this here, Sergio. Okay. So he wasn't a Stroud character. Okay. Can and I then Ocus Malazar yeah, is. Okay, so Kane is doing a prayer. I'm going to pray cast Morgan's War Paint. Morgan's War Paint? Yes. Right. Paint me, bless me, so that I can feel your presence, Morgan. Okay. And so how many paint? 
Does that produce? Or what I you can know? produce. Um, I can. It's one point per level, so I can have. That would be. 11 points, so I can... Okay, so decide what you're doing yeah. for your paints and then, and then I would add, like them, add them to your sheet. Okay, to invulnerability. Okay, any, any other preparation that um, has to be done? I'm reading a scroll of protection from undead into storing. Into storing? Okay. Yeah. Um, this is a scroll? Yes. Yeah. Okay, read the scroll. Okay. Gol Balash Mor Zurol. That's black speech? Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> nah. Cross off the scroll and put the uh, put the black spell into story. It's a nasty spell, so no, okay. Any so other then. any other preparation? Who have does everyone have life keeping? Yep. Um, please check everyone. It's higher. You guys have the central pendant and uh, and uh, the party group? Yes. You have the herb yep. and the central pendant. Yep. Do you want to carry the herb bag? He has a purse. Sure. Yeah. Okay, there you are. Thank you. Uh, do quite late in the evening, Kilur, the governor, will inform you that uh, the captain has been informed. He has agreed uh, to your passage uh, at a cost of 2,000 copper pieces each. I can so pay you for will, that. You will need that money by tomorrow morning. Okay. And um, and the the captain's name is is Sosten Pamara. Sosten Pamara, and he is and the ship is called the Lady's Light. How is everyone doing for healing? Does everyone need consumable healing? All right. Uh, I'm okay, but what kind of healing are you talking about? Uh, I'll give you ten rook. Oh, is that, how's that, that's how's that awesome, sound? man. Thanks. Do okay. you have a ten of those Yes, I have some of those Thanks, buddy. Would you like to take five? Yeah, yeah. I'll take five. Okay, okay. okay. Um, comes off your sheet, transfer it over. Can I have some of Yeah. Okay. How many do you need? Just a couple. Five. Where'd you okay. go the rest? Nice. I grew it. Um, you grow your own? I grew it on my own. <laughs> you said you had an immovable boot, Uh, I have boots of stability. They, uh... Allow me so many times throughout time because I do to have not be knocked down, but that's I have five uh, Taurus moon waters which give you three stages of stamps. I would like to keep one and who else? Oh, I would think? use one for sure if you if you have extra, I would definitely take one. Okay, uh, so. so I'm going to give Iric one, What's it called? One Taurus moon water. It gives you three stages of stance, so you drink it. Okay. It's water that's been left in the light of the moon to enhance it with power. And the date that it was done, which is Taurus, so okay. as mm -hmm. uh, the uh, astrological sign. Could that be helpful to anybody else? Yeah, I could use stance. Okay, I will as well give you, Thank you. no problem. Okay, so make sure the items are coming off and yep. they're marked onto your sheets properly. So you drink right. it and it puts you up three. Okay, yeah, are you off. are you ready to pass the night? I am. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Okay, so there's anything else? You're done your prep? Okay. So you will sleep the night of December the 21st at Pendant Estate. The winter solstice will pass as you move into the morning of December the 22nd, 360 SF. That night, however. Kana. You are in your bedchamber, and you are awakened at night. You know that you were dreaming. You're not sure what you were dreaming about, but you all of a sudden your eyes open up and you feel totally awake. You also feel that you are not alone in the room. Okay. As you look around at the foot of the bed, you can see a little girl, three to four years old, just a toddler, maybe a little bit older. Uh, she's got black hair and uh, darker skin. And uh, when you lock eyes with her, she will she will say to you, "Are you my mummy?" Can she will, she will say, "Where's my mummy?" Can I sense? Are you my mummy? And I'll ask, I'll, I'll, what's your name, dear? Where, where's, where's my mummy? I can't find my mummy. What is your name? And all of a sudden she's gone. Okay. 
All right. Uh, I'm going to get up. Okay. And I'm going to... Can I sense good or evil? Okay. Do you have the ability? I do. Okay. Uh, what, what is your percent to sense good or evil? 55%. Okay. That's right. Fred, you don't know whether you sense it or not, so uh, I have to roll. Okay. 55, you're saying? 55. 55 or, or under? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, you sense no evil. You sense good. I sense good. Okay. Um, then I'm going to... I'm going to come out in the hall, and I'm going to look around and see if I, if I see okay. anything. It's the middle of the night. Okay, I'm going to have a candle so okay. that I can I can see. So I'm going to get the candle so I can see in the hallway. I clearly don't see her, but I'm a, it freaks me out a bit. So I'm going to wake the party up, a party member. I'm up all night. You're up all night? Okay, so I'm going to go find Silcian. So you're going to go to a bedroom because they're all in their bedrooms. So, so I'm going to go to Silcian's bedroom. Okay, okay. okay. so you go to the Silcian who you know only only sleeps one night out of three, and so he's actually up in his room. Okay, so I'm going to go into to Silcian's room. I'm going to knock on the door, and then I'm going to ask if it's okay if I come in. It is. Um, I just... <laughs> well, damn. <laughs> So, Stan, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but uh, I had an interesting experience. I all of a sudden just woke up, and there was a little girl at the foot of my bed, and she had dark hair and dark skin, and she just kept asking, where's my mommy? Are you my mommy? She disappeared. I sensed good, but I'm a little freaked out, and I didn't know who else to, all right. to, to talk to. Well, you're telling him that you can't sleep, and you want to come in here? <laughs> no, I want yeah. to see yeah. if he knows. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I Aren't need some married? reassurance that everything's okay, so that, like, I, did you hear anything? Have you heard footsteps? Have you? Because no, you're the only one awake. I didn't hear anything. I've just been uh, looking through some of these papers. Okay. Um, then I will. I'll go back to bed. I will, though. I will light a lavender candle to help myself. You went back, back into your room? I went back into my okay. room. You go back into your room. And I'm going to light a lavender candle. You can candle. stay and talk. Nice. <laughs> I'm going to go back to sleep. So I'm going to light a lavender candle. Okay, so crush off a lavender candle. Yes. What does a lavender candle do? The lavender candle uh, gives me restful sleep and everybody I, in radius. And well, it's just going to be you in the room. I yeah. have a, a gem that I just recently turned that gives a, it's a citrine of, of sleeping well. Oh. Do you want to take that to bed with you? Okay, I'll take that instead of lighting my candle because the candles can be used in um, okay. in the field as well. So I will take the citrine. You don't have to mark it down. Nope. I'm sure he thank you, uh, Sylvia. You no, you can have it. Yeah. Oh, really? Okay, he, okay, so oh, thank you. So he's wow. so he's given this to you as a as a gift. Thank you, Sylvia. So it's a raw no, it's, a, it's a raw cut gem and okay. and and a, it's a citrine. Uh, well, sleep. Of sleeping yeah. well. Of sleeping well. Or Thank you. Restful sleep. Okay. Okay, so I go back to my room and I go back to sleep. All right, the rest of the night passes through. You are all up having breakfast in the morning of September the 22nd. The red anneliate and the exorcists have already have already departed uh, as the sun was rising. Uh, you are up early because the ship down below is going to be heading out soon. I'm so you're basically going to get up, you're going to grab a quick breakfast, and then you're going to head down uh, to the ship to prepare yourselves to leave. And I'm going to share with everybody else. I was awoken in the middle of the night by a little girl at the foot of my bed, and she had dark skin and dark hair, asking if I was her mommy and where was her mummy, and then she disappeared, and then uh, Silcine was awake. So I I investigated a little more, and he did not hear or see anything. Did anybody else experience anything weird, wake up in the middle of the night for no reason? And I sensed good, so that that mm -hmm. reassures me a bit. Nobody else? Yeah. Okay. Have you been home lately? Yeah. Yes. Okay. How's your Since daughter? Maybe you're missing maybe your girl. Missing a kid. Uh, Possibly. Maybe. But I do check on them every night with my scarab. Oh. It's so I can see them, oh. and I do miss them. But it oh, wasn't. Okay. It wasn't my goal. That wasn't it. No. Okay, so you will m make your way down with all your packs a again. Make sure you have everything that you need, and you will make your way down from Pendant Estate down the path that takes you down uh, to the coast, off of the cliffs, down to the 
to the fishing village of Iron Thrust below. Can I have, sorry, can I have bought uh, some psychedelic mushrooms? Can you have bought from where? Uh, from the town while I was here. There's no mushroom state. dealers, and there's definitely no psychedelic mushroom dealers walking around the streets of a fishing village at 6 in the morning. <laughs> right. <laughs> I was looking real hard. Yeah, well, you fit. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> <laughs> looking last night. Why are you shouting? I, 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 I forgot. forgot. I forgot. Okay. So you will make your way down to the town. You can see the ship that is in harbor. 